Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another hardcore group Iron Man video where we are starting with three lives and fairly decent stats. Now, if you guys missed any of the previous episodes, the links will be in the description. And also, if you guys want to check out my teammates, feel free to do so once again in the description below. I'm not quite sure what the plans for this video are. I'm probably going to continue on questing, but also I do believe I will be joining my friends over in Leech BA to get myself a nice little cheeky torso. But more on that later for now i'm just gonna chill afk and figure out my plan i am not sure if this is the last kill i need to do yeah it is okay so thank you once again the boys over at leech ba for helping me get a torso pretty much they did everything in very short time obviously if you guys want to use their help um, i'm gonna leave the link to their discord in the description and whatnot but let's quickly get the rewards and see the penance torso let's make sure this is it let's accept it and there it is a fighter torso obtained on the account very cool hey thank you so much boys for the help that being said though it is time to continue on progressing this account all right and there we go 71 strength is now obtained on the account and I am done AFKing for a little bit so the stats are already looking very nice but now it's time to do some questing I also want to obviously get a dragon scimitar I want to get a prayer up there's a lot of things I gotta work towards so yeah let's just begin with some quests I guess I can first open all these caskets we got a cosmic talisman sapphire diamond honestly this is pretty good to get I think you need it for a quest later on but yeah I think I am prepared right now to go ahead and spend many many hours finishing a ton of quests First time out of many where we will be trading in our pet cat for 200 death runes The reason why we waited so long is because we wanted to make sure we did complete the Ardun diaries So we get more death runes and the next quest that I am going to be doing is going to be the dig site Because of your amazing support on the recent videos today's episode is brought to you by blitz rise of heroes Blitz is a brand new RPG mobile arena where you can immerse yourself in the hundreds of hours of stories with heroes of the different alliances, stats and classes. Their free daily rewards make it super easy to get into the game and you will accumulate resources even when you are offline. You're able to train your heroes in many different ways including the training camp, a real martial arts academy where recruits can exchange experience and learn new techniques under the guidance of the best gladiators. You can instantly level without wasting any resources and only the best of the best warriors can make it there. The world map includes many different locations, each with the difficult enemies to beat. There's also the treasure maze, which has several different levels, all with split paths to complete. And you need to make your way through each battle to earn different rewards, like recruiting the assassin to your squad, restoring your hero's health and energy, or even resurrecting a dead hero. There is even an auto battle gameplay, meaning you are able to play anywhere and at any time. If you would like to try Blitz Rise of Heroes and help support me you can do so by clicking the link in the description and thanks once again to blitz rise of heroes for sponsoring today's video and that is the dig site completed as well for a ton of mining xp a little bit of herb lord xp and two gold bars we get all the way to level 33 mining thanks to it and uh, yeah let's continue on with i believe a jungle potion and that is a jungle potion done for some herb lord xp i think we get all the way up to 21 and now we're gonna go ahead and do shy village man the difference between doing these quests on deadman mode or doing them on a uh, hardcore iron man this is so much more relaxing knowing that i can't really get killed by anyone anywhere it's just a weird feeling but it, it it feels really good actually just being able to relax whilst playing the game and that is shiloh village done i remember this quest being a lot worse actually like every deadman mode and whatnot because you really need to worry about the amount of food you're gonna have in your inventory and whatnot but honestly in a non-pvp scenario this quest is pretty relaxing quite fun and there is 25 crafting and there is the merlin's crystal also done a ton of quest points and that's just about everything you get from here i do believe i'll do a couple of small diary steps and then i'll finish off elemental workshop part one and there we have it elemental workshop part one for 5k crafting 5k smithing we can now make elemental shields as well very nice we are up to 30 crafting right now, 32 th uh, thieving, no, smithing, there it is. And now I'll move on and 
probably finish Goblin Diplomacy, Lost Tribe, all that sort of quests. Let me take care of my cat as well. Well, there is 200 crafting XP and 5 whole quest points. We're up to 82 right now, definitely moving up quicker than I thought, to be honest. And now we can continue on with the Lost Tribe as well. That is the Lost Tribe also completed, a little bit of mining XP, but finally we do have a Ring of Life. Meaning that if I DC and I'm in a combat or whatever, there is a decent chance I get teleported out to safety. I'll be wearing this probably throughout most of my journey i guess until i reach 99 defense at that point maybe the defense cape is what we will end up wearing but this can really save you from a lot of bad situations so i'm happy to have that done all right and here it is the feud is now also finished for 15,000 thieving xp and a blackjack basically but the thieving xp is why we do this up to 37 very nice and now i can actually move on and start prepping for the future a little bit we're gonna go to shiloh village get our crafting level up a little bit get our fishing level up a little bit so i get to kind of chill for a bit now after all this questing we're up to 84 quest points right now which is honestly fairly solid there is level 32 crafting i didn't even need to go to shiloh because i simply had enough gems in my bank already that is my second cat fully grown up very cool i'll pick her up so it doesn't get overgrown and i'll trade her in for more deference and there is the golem completed some crafting and some thieving xp and whilst i was doing that i also ended up catching some birds mining five clay those are all for achievement diaries and i do believe there is a tick tree right back here we're gonna chop that down as well there it is and that's gonna be another diary task done so now i will basically move on to shadow of the storm all right then there's 200 more death runes here is a cool thing you can do to finish shadow of the storm quest you can actually use your best weapons and just flinch the boss by going next to this torch and every time you see the health disappear you hit it you run right back and we're gonna be using this strategy for a lot of things in this game like stuff like dragon slayer stuff like monkey madness 2 bosses anything like that we'll be using the flinching method if we are not strong enough there we go finally killed it important to know that you don't run around and now for the xp part here we're actually gonna put it into ranged because ranged is very slow to train early on so if we can skip that early leveling and put it all into range xp 10,000 we went from level 1 to 27 range and if you've ever trained range at level one you'll know how good that is to just skip that early game nice so now our total level is also up there and i believe i can also do this in order to get some extra rewards there it is nice nice amount of gems for that as well sick okay we are now working towards dragon slayer we got ourselves a very first map part i hope i'm able to clear this maze with the inventory of trout and a couple of recall rings we'll see though uh, worst case scenario i guess i just go and buy better food but honestly i should probably be okay same thing we're gonna be flinching the lesser demon for the final map piece as well just to not risk dying and here we go that is the last piece if we now combine all of those together we have a full map of crandor beautiful so i basically Basically, I'm ready to kill the Elvarg soon, as soon as I fix the ship, and I will just in case get some extra food, though no reason not to get it, no reason to risk anything at all. Decided to quickly buy some food from Mr. Alfonso the Waiter over here in Bremhaven, and obviously that's gonna serve me mainly in the future, I don't think I'll be using any food for the Elvarg. But yeah, that being said, I'm pretty sure I'm very prepared to finish the quest, let's go ahead and do it. Fun fact, one of my very first videos on the channel, back many many years ago when I wasn't a confident comfortable English speaker or anything like that was actually how to save spot Elvarg. A lot of people saw that video, I think almost like a hundred thousand. But yeah, let me recreate the guide right here just for you guys. Basically, the idea is very simple, right? First of all, you're gonna enter the room, always put the auto retaliate off and make sure you're gonna eat if you take damage. I'm gonna kite it all the way over here first, just so I can utilize the save spot. Get ready to eat as soon as I get damaged. Okay, so this is the first safe spot, which is not the best safe spot, because Elvark is really far away, so I'm most likely not going to be able to hit it, right? So we're gonna run all the way here, to kite it a bit more up, be ready to eat. And now we're gonna kite back down, and I think I fucked it, actually. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay, and there we go. That's how you save spot Elvarg, and now you can just flinch it from this position. And once again, if you don't know what flinching is, it is a very simple mechanic where you hit, step back, wait for the health bar to disappear, and then repeat. And this should take us probably around 5 minutes with our stats, and we should be safe at all times. So I'm also gonna be using Ring of Life. In case I were to disconnect, I have that small chance of Ring of Life teleporting me to safety. Since we are so close to ending it here, I'm just gonna equip my recall, and I'll just face tank it till the end here, just because I 
I want to get it done sooner. Still gonna make sure I'm healthy though, so I can't get one hit. And there we have it, Elvarg is defeated. And if we quickly collect Hit's head, we can now actually finish the quest. So I've been questing for around 5-6 hours today, so I think it is time for me to return to my crab land, get more strength levels, and then when I feel like it, I'll obviously continue with questing. Uh, but for now, I do believe I just returned that to Oziak and the quest will be completed. And that is a fairly enjoyable amount of experience, 18.6k in strength and 18.6k in defense. So we went from 40 to 44 defense, pretty much. I don't need his plate body because I already have a torso and the combat level is already 70. So yeah, I think I'm pretty ready to go AFK a little bit more right now and then continue on questing later today or tomorrow. Decided to finish Priest in Burial for uh, a little bit of prayer XP, but most importantly, we now get access to Mauritania. So that's very cool. So if I can quickly click pass here, should be able to go through and we're all the way up to never mind I need to kill speak to the dude again but we are all the way up to 19 prayer now and we have completed yet another quest so nature spirit is now also done for a little bit of crafting xp some defense and some hit points very cool i do think i'm gonna move on and do creature of Frankenstein next but first i'm going to get just one level in agility because at 36 i'll be able to do one small favor that is 36 agility and you know what i do know i said i was gonna do creature of Frankenstein but I had a little bit of change of ideas of what I wanted to do you see I could go and do monkey madness and use a dragon scimitar but my prayer is holding me back now in order to train prayer there are obviously many ways to go about it but it is definitely one of those things that takes a lot of time now what I could do instead is get a dragon mace which is pretty much the same stats the same speed as a dragon scimitar but it is locked behind the hero's quest right and this is much easier to complete without prayer than for example monkey madness one so i'm gonna go ahead and start working on these requirements 53 fishing seems like a good one to go for first because that's also gonna pay for 53 cooking most likely and after that i'll work on mining and herb lore i'll worry about that at a later date so yeah let's start off by getting our fishing level up went a little bit overboard with fishing up to 56 so that's enough for the quest now i want to make my way over to falador and quickly go ahead and cook all my food so I'm actually gonna make my way up to the... Wait, can I just teleport to Birthrop Game Rooms? Is that a thing? Oh, I can actually teleport there. Never mind. Well, I wasted some runes. But I'm gonna go ahead and cook everything, get my cooking level up. I do need to get eventually to level 70 anyways. So might as well do a nice little long cooking session, get a bunch of levels, and then move on from there. And that is also 53 cooking, making me have high enough cooking level to where I can finish off heroes in the future. There is one thing I would need to set up for that I'm able to continue AFKing and that is range and in order for me to afk range i would really like to get animal magnetism completed in order to do that however i do need to get 18 slayer so that ties us up to this location and we will grab our first task of goblins very cool gonna get myself some cheap range gear right now and we're just gonna do a couple of tasks very quickly see how long it takes us to get to 18 slayer and then from then finish on animal magnetism and probably get like a Dorgeshen crossbow with bolts and then I'll be able to AFK up range while I'm waiting to finish off my other quest that will give me a dragon weaponry. Okay, it is time to buy the very first Dorgeshen crossbow and this thing is just so OP. Like, I mean, it's so cheap to use and so damn good. I'll probably get like 5,000 bolts alongside it. Uh, so that's 2,000. Honestly, one more inventory and it should be good. Doesn't cost too much. I'll be able to AFK my range up whenever i feel like it 4.2k boom look at us we look like straight out of deadman mode day one beautiful uh, but now we gotta get a couple of things obviously first thing we need to work on is 30 range but also 18 slayer at the same time so let's get at it i decided to quickly finish porcine of interest just to get that 1k slayer xp and obviously a quest point as well that does actually get me over the level that i needed which was 18 in order to do animal magnetism so i think the only thing missing at a moment is restless um what is it like restless chicken or what's it called i don't know something like that and uh, then i can do animal
animal magnetism and then I can AFK for a bit. So let's go ahead and do those two things as quickly as we possibly can. And there we have it. Ernest the chicken is also done. So now I can finally complete animal magnetism. I think I have all the requirements in order to do it. And uh, yeah, let's just begin. And that is all I wanted to do for the day. A little bit of wood cutting, crafting, fletching and slayer XP. And most importantly, the Ava's, well, a tractor for now, but after level 50, this will turn into an accumulator. So now I'm most likely gonna go ahead and do a nice long session of AFKing my range. And then tomorrow we're gonna continue on with quests. We're almost at 100 quest points right now already on the account. So yeah, let's go and do a big AFKing session. Spent a long time AFKing today and we're up to 62 range. And I don't think I wanna spend any more time here right now. I do think it's time to actually go ahead and complete more quests. So that being said, let's get at it. And that would be a Vampire Slayer completed. A little bit of attack XP, but also three full quest points. We are now in hundreds when it comes to quest points. Very good progress. Let's keep at it. And that is Prince Ali Rescue done. We now no longer need to pay to use the gate to al -Karid. And 700 coins on top of that. I now want to focus on prioritizing quests that are actually going to give me prayer experience. My prayer experience is really low at the moment. I want to change that. I do think my stats are decent enough to complete Holy Grail next. I also started Lost City. So now when I make my way into Entrana, I can continue Holy Grail. But at the same time, also finish Lost City. So uh, we're just going to quickly bank all our combat stuff. We should be good to go. Let's enter the Lost City. And that is the Lost City completed for some extra quests. But also, I can now access the Slayer Master in here if I ever want to do that. I don't think I will. Decided to do this quest basically at the same time as also completing the Holy Grail. For that, I'm now gonna go return and, well, complete Holy Grail as well. Alright, so here's a cool thing you can do when it comes to the Black Knight Titan. And kind of say spotting it, but not really. You just hit him, step back, hit him, step back. And you can do this all the time. You don't actually need to... To wait for his health to go so you're gonna be using your best weapon until it's low and then you're gonna finish it off with Excalibur and there we have it black Titan dead and we're basically on a nice way to finish the quest right here and there it is holy grail is now done for 11,000 prayer 15,000 defense we go from 44 to 46 defense uh, but most importantly we're now above level 30 prayer so whenever I am in the mood to complete a one small favor for example I should be able to chuck both of the XP lamps in prayer if I wanted to. However, eh, people do say it's more beneficial to use them on Herblor. Uh, it depends though because we are playing group so if I ever want some potions I can just have someone from my team make it for me so I think as soon as I stop being lazy I should be looking to complete one small favor let this be a moment where I forgot to take an eel with me to this stupid quest so I, I, I cooked one because I wasn't sure right and then I burnt one and then this is cave eel so it's the wrong one and then I need this eel and I banked all my other raw ones so well now I'm making my way back to bank to grab an eel so I can finally finish this quest so I can then do another quest so I can then use the fairy rings. Man, Iron Man is fun. Attempt number two. I do think this time around I actually have everything he needs, right? There it is. Nice. Man, I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I brought two of the wrong things. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, but there it is. Got a magic sack of toys. Beautiful. And now I should be able to kill the boss for the quest. Okay, another tip on how to complete Tangle Root. Right here, you hit him. Boom. And you sprint all the way right here to this corner spot. And that should stuck it straight away. And once again, we're gonna do the flinching method. Hit, run, repeat until he's dead. Nice little three minute flinching fight. And there is now uh, Queen Secators. And I do believe that's pretty close to being done with the quest. There it is. Uh, growing Pains Fairy Tale Part 1 done. A lot of farming XP, a little bit of magic, a little bit of attack. 110 quest points already. And look at that from 5 to level 19 farming. Nice. Now I can start Fairy Tale Part 2 until the point where I actually learn how to use fairy rings and then we can move on and do other things. Very cool. Nice. Oh no, don't do that to me. So basically, if I crash this gem right now, I'm completely screwed. You can only get two extras basically from this guy. You can say I need a new opal to fix the lights. He scams you for 500 coins and if I fail it, okay, we're still in it. Bro, this is scary. So let's see this side. You can get two per, uh, so preferably I sh I hopefully don't fail this one. And now if I were to fail it again, which believe it or not can happen, I am completely screwed. Well, good luck us. 500 coins extra scammed. Whew. 
Okay, well, let's keep the stress levels as low as possible and let's continue. Come on now. Don't fail the topaz. Topaz are like the hardest, I feel like. All the others I can kind of get right now. Come on, don't fail it. Nice. We're good. Uh-oh, he's doing it again. It's the last one, bro. I have two chances. No way I fail. Please, brother man. Here's 500. Thanks for being scammed. Hey, we did it. We're good to go. Another questing tip during the one small favor boss fight. There's a couple of safe spots you can use right here. One of my favorites is by simply running a little bit south. That should stock it straight away on the rocks. And you're able to safe spot it either with mage, range, whatever you're using until it's dead. It does take a little bit of time, but once you kill it, it is all worth it because, uh, well, you are in no risk of dying. So very cool, we're gonna collect these little gems, and we're gonna pick the rest of the swordfish, and we're gonna continue on and finish this one tiny favor. I'll be 100% honest with you, I've done this quest so many times in my life, like honestly over 30 times, that I am growing to like it. Yes, I am not even joking. I am so familiar with this damn quest at this point that, yeah, dude, it's fine, honestly. It's a good quest, here here we go one tiny favor is about to be done right so after a little bit of complaining we do receive the steel key ring but most importantly two quest points and these huge xp lamps most people will put them on Herblur, but because we're playing group Iron Man, potions should not be a problem and they're not a priority for me. However, prayer is. I do need to reach that 43 prayer as fast as I can to be able to protect from melee and do some of the dangerous quests where I will need prayer for. So because of that, we're gonna be putting all of our XP lamps into prayer, getting us all the way to level 36 prayer, and after we use this one, we are now all the way up to 39 prayers. So now if I wanted to do monkey madness, for example, I don't even need to push 43. This is all I need to do to protect from the boss. But obviously it is convenient to have everything else for the other parts of the quest. But I'm happy I'm now level 39 prayer. And I do believe now I will go ahead and train my range up to over 70 as well. And there it is, Elemental Workshop 2 already completed. We got uh, quite a bit of crafting and smithing XP. Let's see if we get any levels. We get a smithing level and a crafting level. Perfect. AFKing wise, I ended up getting all the way to level 71 range. And 92 ended up getting a black dehyde chapter from the uh, hard clue scroll so we obviously going to those and right now it's going to be a big focus on me reaching those barrows gloves so we're gonna still focus on quests not that much on afking for a while and uh, yeah let's get those barrows gloves it's gonna take me a long time but i want to get it done things i do for 1000 prayer xp these days but there it is making history done a little bit of crafting a little bit of coins and some quests uh, quest points as well uh, very cool so we're up to 116 right now another craft crafting level very close to level 40 prayer as well but what i want to do right now is want to actually start really prioritizing heroes quest requirements for that i need 50 mining and before i go through with mining i do want to finish varok easy diaries because that's gonna speed it up by a little bit so let's go ahead and complete those if we can i completely forgot how many lamps you can get by simply finishing quests and then speaking to historian minas if i can i'll be using them on herblur until i reach 25 and if i can't i will simply be using them on prayer let's see herblor 1000 herb xp gets me to 23 and yeah i do i definitely need to get to 25 herblor for the heroes quest so let's just put another one in herb i know i could have put that into prayer but i mean i gotta get 25 right so uh, that's two free herb levels and let's continue on with museum even though i could be done here because well i have over 50 i want to be done with at least the easy steps just so i can get closer to 100 and we can put this ancient symbol in this one and we are now over 100 kudos as well i will stay here until i find a ruby necklace because well that's used for future quests pretty much and i just want to get done with it as fast as possible and there it is we also found a clean necklace perfect so now we can move on with quests found another lamp that i don't know how much xp i'll get for 500 in herblor so that's actually perfect that finishes my 25 herblor and now i can really focus on finishing off my mining as well. For my very last Varrock step, I have to craft a couple of earth runes and I decided to come through the abyss because uh, well, we don't have an earth talisman right now. We're gonna quickly craft all of these essences. There it is and that is Varrock easy diaries done. So we're gonna get ourselves that body and then the only thing we need to do is grind out a little bit of mining. So first of all, let's speak to my boy Toby over here. He will give us our very first armor piece and that is actually gonna
gonna help us sometimes when we mine we're gonna get two ores instead of one and obviously double the xp as well so if we quickly use this antique lamp right now we're gonna use it on prayer and there it is we're now level 40 prayer which allows us to protect from missiles three more levels to go till we are very confident uh, into doing pretty much anything in the game but still a little bit to go until that part i made new friend but most importantly i also completed a shield of arav so now i'll be able to complete heroes when it comes down to that uh, but now i guess let's return back to mining all the way up to 41 mining we still have about 60,000 xp to go so i'll be here for probably two more hours but now the fun part about group iron man comes i don't actually have a rune pickaxe on me but one of my teammates does so they're gonna throw it into the group storage i'm just gonna pick it up and use the rune pickaxe all the way to 50. taking a quick look at the group storage and look at it the rune pickaxe is in there let's deposit the adamant let's save our changes and we can now use a rune pickaxe wonderful let's bank our cat because it's grown now and i don't think i need any of this stuff either all right back to mining i just got 42 mining and i'll continue mining in the future but for now i am kind of in the mood to finish off my 43 prayer because it's really dragging me down so we're gonna go kill some blue dragons finish this off it's gonna take me a little bit of time and then instead of going for straight up heroes i'll just go for monkey madness one to get that dragon scimitar so let's start working on that right now we're on the blue dragons in taverly at the moment and we'll stay here for two full inventories i need about 44 more bones to finish off 43 prayer on ecto and after that the goal is to finish off monkey madness i think that's gonna be one of the last things i want to make sure i complete in this video so let's grind towards that accomplishment I just did see that looked weird, bro. That death animation was the longest death animation I've seen. Oh, oh, like what? That was scary. It is now time to convert my bones into prayer experience. So we have about 45 of those. Let's see if that gets us all the way to 43. And we're gonna do it over here in Ecto. And after we're done with 43 prayer, we also have all the items required to start off the Ghost Ahoy. So we'll do that as well in a little bit. But first, let's actually get done with the prayer. Honestly, no idea why I procrastinated training prayer for so long. I mean, I literally kept postponing it for absolutely no reason it is pretty simple to train two little trips on the on the blue drags and that was all i needed to finish off 43 now we have protect from melee and now we can complete pretty much most of the dangerous quests because you can block all the damage that they create so firstly i'll quickly do the ghost ahoy simply because it's gonna be unlimited teleports to an area somewhat close to a bank right and uh, after that uh, monkey madness is the last thing i want to complete so let's get at it here it is finally ghost ahoy completed a little bit of prayer experience but most importantly an ecto file so now i'm able to use this as an emergency teleport whenever i get low i dc whatever it is i can just empty it teleport right here and it's somewhat close to a bank as well we are now beginning the monkey madness adventure no stamina potions so let's see how long this takes all right we are basically at the ending of the quest here after speaking to garkor he should be giving us a sigil that we can then use to teleport to the final boss fight now for this boss fight we're gonna play it very safe we're actually gonna hide until the boss is low and then we're just gonna try to do the killing blow that's the idea we'll see how it goes so i turned the prayer on it's gonna drain it a little bit but at least i know that at the start of the fight i'm not gonna get insta one like insta damaged hard i do lose a little bit of prayer for it though quite a lot of prayer actually it's going down quick there we go but you see i didn't take this damage and he only hit me once so the idea is right we hide right here on the safe spot and we let the little dudes deal a, a lot of damage to him and you can do that by simply moving up and down and the damage will stack and then once i see it low enough i'm gonna go ahead and try to deal a killing blow okay now that is fairly low i think my range level should be high enough i don't want to risk flicking because you never know when you're gonna dc so i step on this corner wait for him to reach me and start shooting me just like so because you see his animations are a bit wonky i think my range level is pretty Pretty high usually i do this with like 28 range so it's a lot worse but yeah i'm hitting basically every other hit so if i had prayer potions i wouldn't mind even just straight up straight up tanking him and hitting him to make this process a bit shorter but just like that we've killed the demon and with that we are now almost able to finish the quest there it is the quest i've been waiting to complete for a while is basically done here but that's not all because i can also get more experience so there it is 10,000 coins 36 we're pretty broke right now so i don't think we can scramble together enough money for a scimitar just yet uh, but it's good to have that done 122 quest points we're getting very close to barrels gloves as well 
And now if I do speak to... I honestly don't know who I need to speak to. Is it Diario? I think it is Diario. Uh, he should give me a ton of experience as well. We will still be focusing on strength and stamina because that's going to give us hit point XP and whatnot. I could be focusing on attack and defense, get to 60 faster that way. Uh, but I think strength is honestly the way to go. So I'm going to do that. And hopefully we get some levels. I don't actually fully remember how much XP you get. We're definitely getting a hit points level. And we are most likely... Are we going to get to 1000 total here? Hopefully. Let's see. So that is uh, a bunch of experience all across the board. And now we are 1003 total level. Very, very cool. Very happy I got that done. And I guess now I just have to scramble enough money to afford my very first Dragon Scimitar. Barely, just barely stealing all the money from the group storage was I able to get together 100 coins. But I mean 100k coins. Uh, with that, we can now actually traverse back into the monkey madness island for well not the last time but last time in a little bit at least and uh, our gear is starting to look very nice so it's gonna be time to upgrade it with a good old dragon scimitar this is usually the best part in a deadman mode when you get to trade daga you haven't died and you are able to buy your dragon scimitar for only 100,000 gold so very happy this is now completed if i quickly teleport myself out of it i'm now able to wield it and would you look at that that, that is that is us that is us right now that is crazy how quickly we have obtained the dragon simi only took us three episodes and we're basically already balling now the next upgrades in the future episodes that we are most likely going to be going for will be the boots the barrels gloves the amulet and the helmet maybe like a nazi helm stuff like that we're slowly gonna start to uh, really upgrade our account but uh, yeah extremely happy with how today went if you guys made it this far in the video please Please consider giving it a like, leave a comment, let me know you made it throughout an entire episode. And if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, consider seeing those too. I will be leaving the playlist in the description. Make sure you check it out. And yeah, that being said, that's pretty much everything I got for you. I'll see you again very, very soon with another video. Have a good one and bye-bye.